Hi guys, welcome to another interesting video tutorial on Angular 7 by Tech-Tech-Tuts. In this particular video tutorial, we are going to talk about how can we make interaction between different components, especially how to transfer data from parent component to child component and from child component to parent component. So before I start my video tutorial, I will request you that if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, then do consider and subscribe to it so that you can get notified as soon as I upload or publish a new video or series. Thank you very much. So let's get started. So I have created a new Angular 7 app and if I show you this one it is running on port 4200 and showing parent works and child works. So I have two components as well generated with the name of parent and child. The parent component is loaded inside app.component.html file here and the child component is running inside parent and we are running it from here. So though both of them are working independently and we can access the data of child inside this parent component but what if we want to transfer some data from parent component to child component and that data will must be processed by the child component so this is called sharing data from parent to child component for that we need an input object or module or you can say a function inside of a child component and if we go to child.component.ts file here we need an input module or input object and after that we simply inside the class we need to write input and then we need to mention the name of that variable where we want to store the information so suppose I will call it a message and the type of message must will be a string so we can transfer now to this message and then inside the child component dot html file we can echo out this message like this and now we want to transfer this message from the parent component so inside parent component dot HTML inside the app dash child we can write here like this message hello from parent components so as soon as I have written like this if you go to the site and now it will reload and show hello from parent component so this data now is sharing from the parent component to child so this is how we can transfer data from parent to child component So now we have seen that how can we transfer data from parent component to child. Now we will see that how can we transfer data from the child component to the parent. So for that we need to use two objects inside the child component.ts file. The one is output and the other one is event event emitter. So we will import them inside Angular from Angular core. And after that we will write here output. And this means that we need to output something and here we will do emitted text is equal to new event emitter and this will return a string type so that will be a function event emitter and after that we will create a function emit text and this will take a text like type of string and then we will write this dot emitted text dot emit is a method which will be used by event emitter and then we will transfer the text so this is how we created a component a child component which can emit something from it and then we will grab that text whatever text is that inside the parent so suppose inside the p tag we will another p tag we have a button sorry button and inside button we will have a click event so when we will click then emit text will be executed i mean this function emit text will be executed and it will take hello from child component a text or anything or an object it can be an object in cat it can be a single string so we are using here string so hello from child component after that now we need to grab this inside the parent so going into parent.component.html here we will create an event emitter to so emitted text is equal to we will call a local method and it will get an event so this get text message method will be created and this emitted text event is created inside the component like here so in the parent we have written this then we will create this get text message in the ts file like this and it will accept the e and now we can do like we can create a message variable here with the type of string and we can say that 
this dot message is equal to e because we are returning a string so it will only pass out a string in the e and this e will be transferred to this dot message and then inside the parent dot component dot html file we will create a p tag here and then we will write message now as soon as we click the button this message will be shown so let's get to the code and let it to be reloaded i think it is compiled the button is not shown oh sorry i didn't write anything inside button i think i'm sorry for that inside this yes click me now save it now it will reload and show click me here so as soon as i will click it it will show hello from the child component and this is how we can share data between the component or we can make interaction between the component so hopefully you like this tutorial if you did then don't forget to press the like button and if you haven't subscribed to our channel then please do consider and subscribe to it and don't forget to press the bell icon so thank you very much take care and bye